Hello. It's us again. I don't know if you noticed, but she is getting huge. Hehehe. <laughs> her smile. Um, we are two days away from her nine-month birthday, I guess you call it. Um, uh, I, I never really understood the term. Her month anniversaries. No, it doesn't make sense either. But she's going to be nine months old in two days. Um, it's exciting because she has come a long way since the last time I've been on here. Um, she has started uh, eating eating solids more, so that's that's a good thing. Still no teeth, uh, waiting on those. Uh, but she does gum everything now, and uh, you know as long as you mush it up well enough, she can eat it. And anything soft, she can mash up in her own mouth pretty well. Yeah, so she's got that movement down. Uh, she's eating about solids about twice a day. So it's good. It hasn't improved her sleeping any because she still wakes up to, to to nurse, which is still a little bit difficult to deal with. Um, for those who have never nursed, you know, babies, she tends to wake up every two hours, one hour or so during the middle of the night. So. You know, she wakes up my wife to, to breastfeed, and then my wife would normally fall asleep breastfeeding her. <laughs> um, but, you know, once uh, we're, we're almost at a point where we can, maybe a little bit, another couple months, where we can basically exclusively feed her solids. Uh, definitely once all her teeth come in, once she has a sizable amount of teeth to, to chew with. We're looking forward to and dreading the inevitable appearance of teeth because of the pain and suffering that we're going to go through <laughs> while she gets them. Um, she handles little annoyance pains pretty well. Uh, she kind of, you know, tumbles over and, and bumps her head into things and everything. She doesn't cry. She really... It's amazing to me how well she handles little pain. Uh, you know, some stuff that even I would be like, oh, you know, she just kind of, about five seconds, five, ten seconds, she'll cry for that, look at me, do one of those faces, and then she'll be fine. Um, the tumbling comes from the fact that she is starting to attempt standing. Um, she can get up onto her knees pretty well. Uh, she can sit up on her own now, so that's a big one. Um, crawls around the house, you know, and then when she settles into someone, she'll sit. And uh, she's pretty stable. Every now and then she'll tumble back. But the biggest thing is the fact that now she'll start pulling herself up onto things. Let me see if I can show that to you. Okay. So, this is her on the floor. Right? Okay. <laughs> you want the camera? <laughs> Come on. Okay, I guess she's a little camera shy. For the time being, um, maybe we just make pretend that we're not paying attention to her, and she'll actually do it right now. <laughs> See, that's what she does. She picks herself up. <laughs> she's trying to look at the, at the camera. And she's up on her knees. And she does attempt to stand every now and then. Um, more so when she's climbing on me when I'm sitting on the floor. Um, maybe I'll show you that another time. But she's there at this point. And she's starting to reach things, grab things, pull them down. She still sticks them in her mouth. But oddly, not as much as she would have. As she used to. Uh, if the camera gets pulled away, it's because she yanked on the cable. <laughs> Um, and generally she, uh, she's just getting more mobile and, you know, when she can walk and, and stand and, and, and run and stuff, it'll be fun for us because, uh, she'll be able to go outside. We'll be able to go outside and run around and play in the park and stuff. And I'm, I'm looking forward to that, um, cause you know, right now it's, it's, we're entering winter. We're still only entering winter and it's, it's cold as hell. Um. Which I never understood first. But it's cold. Uh, and only in comparison to the summer. Because the summer's so hot. And then it drops about 
60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit comparatively. And then you just let your chattering. And it wouldn't feel so cold if it wasn't so damn hot. So it's the trade off. It sucks. Um, but we do have a uh, heater in the house, which has been working pretty well. We have a kotatsu. For those who don't aren't aware of what a kotatsu is in Japan, they have these little tables with heaters underneath with blankets over it. You stick your feet under there and you just say it's lovingly warm. Not lovingly. Lovely warm. That's still not a good word. It's still really warm underneath your feet. So it's it's nice. Um, I spend a lot of time under there. Uh, we eat dinner around there, stuff like that. It's nice. Um, but if they had proper installation in Japan, then you would need it as much, which is what the problem is in Japan. They just the buildings, the houses are built to let a lot of air flow through, which is great during the summer. It sucks during the winter because all that air that's flowing through is pretty damn cold. So, yeah. Uh, but you know, well, I've been here now almost two years, so kind of getting used to it. Uh, I'm looking forward to coming back to New York in April to see all my friends and to show Vinny off to all my friends and family so she can go, hello, and look really, really cute. <laughs> uh, she'll be a little over a year at that point, a year and a month, so she should be walking, or at least not completely tied down to crawling. And that's it for now. I'll probably update again in a couple days just because uh, I want to get a video for under nine, actual nine months. And my birthday's coming up soon. I got about nine days and I'll be 31. 31. Getting up there. I know it's not as bad as a lot of you. And you can say, oh, you're not that old. Blah, blah. You know what? I'm over 30 and I got a kid. And she's adorable. But I'm still 31. Anyway. See everybody soon. And uh, catch you later. Can you do that? There, just the end. Two fingers. <laughs> there you go, not bad. Alright, bye.